Hey guys, Dr. Prometheus here with a channel update. Haven't done one in a bit, but a week or so, about that time. And there's a couple of changes I wanted to do because uh, we had some issues, especially with the uh, Latin Empire mod, if you've seen it, especially with the last episode. So I want to put out this, and we're going to put a couple more, uh, one more game. Out on here, it's mysterious because it's not on here yet. But I'll kind of, we'll kind of go through it. So, Soul Planet Expeditions Rome, loving it. I think we're towards the, uh, like the middle to end of the first campaign in the game. What I mean by first campaign is you go to uh, Asia Minor, Africa, Gaul, then you have one in Rome. So it's kind of like a four chapter type thing. We're about halfway through the first uh, portion in Asia Minor. So we'll just keep on chugging with that. I'm really enjoying it. It's been really fun. Uh, Gates of Hell, loving our German campaign at this point. I think we're probably I don't know, a handful of episodes away from possibly getting the King Tiger. So we'll have uh, fun with that. We're starting to see more heavier Soviet equipment as well, which is really, really interesting. I'm really enjoying that. So we'll still have that going on. Don't worry about the times. I'm completely sucking on putting it out on any time schedule. So just know this will be what's out on uh, the date, essentially. Uh, our Rome 2, Total War, or Roar of the Gods. That is going fantastic. I'm loving that so far. And I think I've really figured out how Rome 2 has a lot of different and better mods than Attila. It's because Attila was kind of rigid. But with Rome 2, Rome 2 has a lot of good mods with that. And I'm really enjoying the War of the Gods. I think after War of the Gods, we're going to go to DEI. Do a Roman DEI campaign. And then because that one's specifically uh, cool with that being flushed out. And that one, you kind of start out with kind of a tiered upgrade system in a way with a lot of forces with uh, the Romans, which would be pretty cool. Kind of uh, look at each mod and see how that goes. And then with our 1212 AD, I still like the mod, obviously. I think it's a good overhaul to the closest we'll get to a medieval three at this point. Who knows what uh, what's gonna be the next Total War game at this point. But 1212 AD, pretty good with that. We're going to be doing another campaign with that. But I got access to the new Medieval Warfare mod. We're going to be playing in Attila. Playing as England, kind of exploring that mod. Uh, probably not going to be a really long playthrough. It'll probably be a playthrough just as long as we're England, take down France, and kind of go for, uh, and go and leave it at that. Is probably the biggest that we'll play there. That's kind of the main objective for that. I kind of picked a straightforward objective and a straightforward faction because the game's still being flushed out with that. And there's still some nuances and weird things with uh, Attila itself. So I don't want to be trapped into uh, Attila because it's probably not my favorite Total War game by any means. It had a lot of issues especially the fact that the actual ranged units the at least in this mod particular lompos are absolutely op to the point where you can almost wipe half an army with just archers i think if you weren't fighting a bunch of cavalry you could probably have three or four melee units and probably 15 archers with like a couple of cab units to kind of deal with cab or run down anything that's faster and you will literally take down any any unit it's really any army it's really weird like that and that's one of the issues with attila itself attila is very heavy towards range units uh, because of probably because of the fact of attila and the huns and genghis khan and stuff like that in that Trying to go with that whole flavor, and that kind of transfers over. Well, that's Attila, and you have the Huns in that, and in 12, 
not in twelve twelve, but the medieval warfare kind of transfers the idea of uh, instead of Attila being so absolutely bonkers, insane, it becomes Genghis Khan who has the bonkers, insane ranged units in that. So we're gonna explore this mod for a little bit, and then uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna be playing in that spot. Blue Jays, I'm gonna actually record that right after this. Let me get some meat, record some Blue Jays. We have the draft in that, and then I'll get uh, five or six episodes recorded, and that'll be up uh, starting back tomorrow on Tuesday. One thing I am going to add on here tomorrow, and we're going to have it, I think, every... I'm not sure about every day, but it is going to be City Skylines. We're going to hop into some more skitty city skylines. I looked on the, on the, not the VODs, but the, looked on the channel and saw the last campaign I did on City Skylines. And City Skylines was one of the first uh, things I recorded. This was 2015 was the last time we had something on there. Maybe even, uh, Probably sooner because it was 2016, 2017, I think the winter DLC came out. We're we'll playing with a decent amount of mods. And we are going to have a focus on, I don't know, making, making a realistic city with a cool islands. And we're going to have some cool stuff in there. I haven't really explored the last, like, five DLCs. Last one I played was the one that introduced Snow. And some of the seasons, season stuff like that. I never played with any disasters or anything of that nature. So we're going to get back into that. You'll see that first episode probably tomorrow in the afternoon. And then also we're still chugging through some uh, of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. So we're going to be going through that. Hopefully I can get my schedule particularly my sleep schedule in a portion where i can be able to record this in the morning and then stream for you guys in the afternoon which is what i was trying to do for about a week or so two weeks when halo and then after halo came out and then yeah life so that'll be what is on the channel don't worry i know there's a couple of people have asked about grand tactician i think the biggest thing i want to do is a union campaign but I'm going to wait a little bit longer to, to hop into one. The biggest thing is we did a release, a Grand Tactician campaign, and then we did, and that one was a uh, Confederate campaign that was starting at the 1861 date. And then we did a Beyond the Brink campaign, and I've played so much Grand Tactician that... Uh, I think it'd be good to go back and at this point take a slight break, which we've, we haven't had any on the channel for probably about like a couple months and now uh, hopping back in it with a union campaign in 1861 and kind of just messing with the supply system a little bit, but we'll kind of see how it goes. The biggest thing with Grand Tactician is it is very time consuming to the point of, like a campaign. I think our last campaign spanned like three, four months. And after a while, when you start putting that much time into it and the numbers get really bonkers, it gets absolutely insane where you could have multiple episodes just be one battle. So that's the biggest thing with that. Probably... Uh, some other games we need to get through as well on that. So we'll, we'll eventually get back to it and do a union campaign in that. But I'm really loving what's on the channel right now, getting back into some Total War. I have no idea what I'm going to do for uh, Warhammer. I think that comes out in a couple of days or next week or something or another seven so i think it's like a week and a half i have no idea i've been thinking about a mortal empires campaign with the entire map can I do a sandbox to learn some of the mechanics things like that in it and 
I have no idea where we're going to be. Uh, we're going to play as. I might put that to a poll because I'm going to definitely need some feedback on that because I have no idea. I never played Warhammer. Uh, I haven't really jumped into the lore or anything like that. So we'll have to see how that one is. I'm hoping that we have. Oh, one thing as well. So I know we're a long ways out from it. From the fact that uh, Rockstar did announce a, uh, a GTA 6, or the rumor has it GTA, uh, GTA 6 is being developed. It's well in the development. I think towards the middle of the year, we will go into a GTA, a GTA 5 playthrough. I don't know if we'll do the entire franchise on that. But I think we'll do at least a GTA 5 and we'll uh, we'll get to that. I don't think I ever played it on the channel. And probably 5 is one of the more interesting ones for sure. Especially with the fact that now looking back in the Definitive Editions, things like that. It kind of gives me the nostalgia feel of uh, Mass Effect 1 which was so janky and jacked up that a lot of people skipped it and just used the, the story generator for two to generate your background for one so you can just hop into two. Uh, it kind of made me feel a little bit like that while watching some definitive edition or remaster or whatever you want to call it with that. So later on in the year, that will be one thing we hop into. Trying to think what else. Um, MLB The Show. See, we're February. So, March. Um, we're going to be playing our Blue Jays franchise until uh, that one is in there. Then maybe if we don't get to the point that we're there, uh, hopefully, I'm hoping, that in the next MLB, they allow you to do a... Um, a 21 to 22 kind of transfer. Uh, they did it a couple of years back, but ever since they had it on next gen consoles, they've kind of went away with that uh, for whatever reason. So I'm hoping that we'll have that. And if that's the case, and we can still continue our Blue Jays franchise, we can start a new Cubs franchise, which would be really cool with that because. Uh, they're projected to be the one of the worst teams in baseball going into the next year. And I think that would be a great rebuild and just having fun the entire year with some MLB The Show. And I really enjoyed the game. It's been really fun with that. So we're going to hop into that Blue Jays and we're going to kind of go through it a little bit faster, maybe. I, I enjoy the game so much that me saying like, okay, We'll get in two episodes, will be one month, and I never do it because the entire week of episodes ends up being one month because I do enjoy it so much. So that's how we'll uh, kind of go on the channel for right now. Um, yeah. So if you have any suggestions uh, for that Total War, Warhammer 3 campaign, go ahead and... Uh, Put it down below for the to be Immortals Empire campaign. So go ahead and put that in the comments below. I'll also put a poll in the community section of just random factions and we'll kind of see how it goes. So that'll be it for this update. Hope y'all are doing, a, doing great. Staying warm if it's cold. Staying cold if it's warm or too hot. So I will see you guys in the next video. Later.